Hey everyone, it is Kai here, and today I just want to do a little tutorial on how to get Fallout 3 Game of the Year Edition to run with Proton through Steam without any issues. Um, a lot of people did uh, tutorials on this, even Lutris tells you it does it for you, but I feel like that that's not is useless. It's just useless now because it just does not run properly at all. I always had issues with it, like the audio issues with uh, Lutris, so I decided to do this little tutorial on how to get it to work without using Lutris, just using Steam and gen just Steam itself that you have on your Linux operating system. So what you need to do is once you ins when you're installing Fallout 3 Game of the Edition or just Fallout 3 in general, um, the base edition, when you install it, there will be a little error popping up saying this can Windows you can install this um uh MSI X Live dist or whatever it, it's gonna call it. I can't remember the name exactly, but just press OK and it will still continue installing the game and everything will be fine. Uh, once that's done installing, I'll just close that for as a as a tutorial means here. Once that when it's done installing, do not run the game just yet. Do not run the game just yet. Right click the game, manage the um manage uh, browse local files, and then if D X Live DL does not exist in this in this directory in the Follow Three Game of the Year edition or just Follow Three edition, if the X Live DLL does not exist, um, I will post a link in the description of this video, uh, allowing you guys to download this file from me directly. Um, it is safe. I put it on Dropbox, so you guys will be able to download it no problem. Once that is done downloading, it'll you'll get a zip file, which is will be this one, which will be in the will be in the um, um, downloads folder or wherever you downloaded it. You ex extract this XLive DLL, excuse me, and then put it into the Fallout Three Game of the Year Edition uh, directory. Don't worry about anything else, just uh, extract it and then you'll get it in this folder, which is empty because I dragged it already. Uh, drag this DLL into your directory, run the game. Once that's done, it'll prepare to launch the Game of the Year Edition. Once that's done, it'll synchronize or whatever. It'll, the launcher will pop up and it will uh, choose your graphic settings or whatever, um, which is good. Uh, what you need to do is make sure all your um, DLCs are enabled. Don't worry about if you want the um, if you want the unofficial patch, you can download Lutris doing that way too, and do it the same way that I'm gonna sh that I showed you how to uh, uh, insert X uh, Live DLL because that may also cause audio issues. But I that's for another time. Um, so once that's done. Um, you go to your options, go to, uh, make sure, once you go to the options, make sure you um, disable screen effects, leave VSync on, do not put in windowed mode. If you put in window mode, there you're gonna have some issues. Uh, choose your resolution that you want. Um, that mine's at 2560 by 1440. I, I selected ultra details, but, um, Go to advanced options, go to water settings, disable these two water reflections and water refractions. Delete, disable those two, because I, I heard there are a lot of people are having issues with that, um, with those um, water uh, reflection and refraction details in Fallout 3. Okay, so once that is done, press okay, play the game, and it should pop up without a problem. The audio should be working. There should be no, there should be no issues whatsoever. Everything should be running smoothly, as you can see here. The X Live will be here um, highlighted because if you have X DLL not there in the directory, this sh this would be um, disabled. This will be hidden, like uh, grayed out, um, and then you'll have audio issues and all that. So you can you can edit the. Um, can edit the gameplay you can do whatever you want whatever all right so that works um, and then you just go back again and then go to new game and it should run without a problem it should run without a problem see the loading screen here or the little intro video should work just fine 
and you should have no problem whatsoever running this game now. So that's how you get Fallout 3, the game of the game of the edition, to work. Um, looks like it uh, used to it used to work without having the X live DLL before. I got it to work a couple years ago that I didn't have to worry about XDLL because it usually installs it for you. But at this time, it looks like um, with the latest version of Proton, it does not install the XLive DLL for you. It always shows that error when you're installing it. So yeah, it looks like it's running Let's flawlessly, see. as you can see here. There's no problems. Or go. Um, so you can be a boy or a girl, and then you just go through the whole process. There will be no a issues. Boy. Full screen, full resolution, max sun, details, Captain. except a the water reflections and refractions are disabled. Baby boy. And voila, you should be oh, you'd be, able, you'd be able to run this game no problem. So yeah, that's that's Fallout Three in a nutshell, running on Linux. I'm running this on uh, uh, Farron OS, uh, the latest version of Farron OS. But it doesn't matter what version of Windows uh, Linux are you running, Linux Mint or uh, Ubuntu, whichever or Manjaro, whichever you prefer. Just follow those steps. I'll put the link in the description for this XLive DLL. Just download it, open the file directory that you installed Follow 3 in, paste that in there, run the game, disable, um, disable the uh, screen effects, disable the screen effects, make sure that is off. All OS, unless you want to, if you really want to risk it, you can turn either one on. You can risk it, but I, I, I recommend not to. And make sure water refractions and water reflections are turned off. Once those are off, you shouldn't have no, you should have a stable experience with um, Fallout 3. Um, if you do really want um, the unofficial patch, you can install. Follow three game edition using Lutris, and then just do the same process that I recommended through Steam. It will still install Steam through the Windows version, and just just drag the DLL to the Windows directory that uses that's using Wine. Once that's done, um, you should have no issues enjoying the game that that I showed you here how to get it running. So that's how you get Fallout Three running on Linux. So please like and subscribe, comment if you have any issues or uh, any other suggestions what I should try uh, doing another tutorial on, like um, some other games uh, that you think I should try getting to run. But um, I may not have all the games that you have. Um, so just letting you be just a little warning you right now, I may not have the game that you suggest. Um, but yeah, that's how you get Fallout 3 running on Linux. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you all next time and happy new year. Take care.